Hey, what's up guys? Briar Rabbit here, and today we got a new map pack, man. We got everything. We got the Magma, we got, what else we got? We got Encore, Vertigo, we got Studio, which is a remake of Fire and Range, which I'm really excited about. I'm actually having a ton of fun on Studio. I didn't realize how much I missed Firing Range. It's been, you know, a couple years now since I played it, and it was a great map, and it still remains a great map, uh, but I'm really enjoying, you know, First impressions are really strong for me. I'm really enjoying the new maps. Uh, it's fun to kind of get to know new areas and kind of figure out new lines of sight and new lanes and new routes. And it's I'm having a really good time. You see, I'm still using the pistols. Um, I'm still actually working on the uh, best weapon shootout for the B23R and the Cap 40. Uh, that should be out in the next couple of days. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I knew, you know, kind of the strengths and weaknesses of these guns. I really didn't use them much at all before I started playing with them just for this, for that video. So I really wanted to get, uh, you know, familiar with them. So I'm, but I am having a good time with them. I gotta tell you, I think they're both a little overpowered, but uh, you know, that's another story. So anyway, back to the map pack. I'm really having a good time. So this, this gameplay is on Magma and I really like Magma. It's, there's a lot of different lines of sight. There's a lot of flanking routes. You can play with just about any type of gun you want. Uh, it's really friendly to short range weapons, it's really friendly to assault rifles, it's friendly to snipers. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff you can do on this map and I'm really having a good time with it. I'm really, I'm super impressed with it. I like it quite a bit. Uh, Studio, obviously I love. It, it is firing range. It's, it's basically the same geometry it feels like. There are a couple of differences, like I noticed that when you're in that little uh, hovel, you can't, you can't jump up in the window and like look out from there. Uh, so there are some differences, which I think I prefer. You know, I'm not sure, right? Because, like, in Modern Warfare 3, they released Terminal. And it was basically the exact same match, map that we had in Modern Warfare 2. And I was glad to see it, but I got bored of it pretty quick. And uh, so I'm, I'm glad they reskinned Studio. So it's not, it's not just a... They didn't just pull Firing Range out of Black Ops and put it in Black Ops 2. They actually... You know basically made a new map uh it's just got the same it's got similar geometry and that, that's really exciting to me i think it's a really cool idea um i don't know how many more of these i want to see though because in this game we've already got nuketown 2020 which is the same as you know nuketown now we've got studio which is the same as firing range i'm not so sure i want any more you know like i, I like new maps and I, I it is fun to go back to firing range it was such a fun map um but I, I do I do like learning new routes. I like learning all the new stuff in a new map. Uh, I really enjoy that. You know, it's fun jumping into the new map uh, pack. You know, like they have a new playlist for the new map pack, and it, I find it to be really really fun to jump into that. And everybody's kind of on the same playing field. Nobody's really sure where the lines of sight are. Nobody knows the map really well yet, especially the first few days. And I really enjoyed it. I loved it with Grind and the last map pack and, uh, what was it, Downhill. And I'm really, I'm liking this. I like Magma. Uh, Vertigo is interesting. I like how there's that main uh, kind of building in the middle. And there's a lot of, like, outskirts. Again, that, that map seems to be good for assault rifles and SMGs. Uh, I would think that it's good with snipers, although I haven't tried one on there. Uh, Encore. I, I'm actually kind of digging Encore. There's, like, so you got that stage, right? And above the stage, there's kind of that sniper perch. And then on the other side in the stands, there's a couple sniper perches. So basically, anywhere near that stage is just a death zone. But there's a lot of there's a lot of outskirts to play on, uh, and they're really flexible. You can run around really fast with a pistol or with a shotgun. Uh, you can use lines of sight with an assault rifle or a SM or a LMG. I like the maps. I like all four of them right now. Uh, I I am disappointed. I'm still disappointed that they didn't come out with a new weapon. I would have liked that quite a bit. Again, I was hoping that you know we'd see a new assault rifle in one map pack. Uh, we'd see a new shotgun and another, and a new sniper rifle and another, and a new, you know, so on. So I'm a little disappointed with that. Uh, but overall, I'm really, I'm really happy with the map pack. I like new maps. I like learning the routes. Uh, it's something, it's more, I don't know, it makes my brain more involved. Sometimes when you get into, into a map that you've been playing, let's say Plaza, right? You, you play Plaza over and over and over and over again, or hijacked over and over. 
you almost stop thinking about it, right? It almost becomes just like, I know which route I'm going to run in which situation, and it's almost instinctual. So going, getting a new map pack, it kind of, it gets that brain activity working again, and that that is really rewarding to me. I really enjoy that. Uh, I am hoping that I I am hoping that we kind of stop seeing the retread maps like like Firing Range in Studio. I'm happy that we got Firing Range, but I can't think of another map from Black Ops that I'm really dying to see. Although it might be interesting to see something from like COD, uh, Modern Warfare, COD 4, Modern Warfare, or even Modern Warfare 2. I don't know. It might be fun to see Treyarch kind of take a step in that direction. I don't know if they can do that. I don't even know what the kind of licensing deals they have or how that works. Uh, even World at War. What was that? Castle, right? It was called Castle? That was a really fun map. But I don't know. I, I, I'm more... I really want new maps. I, I, I'm more into that right now. I'm happy they gave me firing range. Don't get me, get me confused. But I think I'd be more happy if uh, we get all new maps from here on out. I'd also like to see... Uh, do you remember in Modern Warfare 3 they released the small map pack meant for small team games like two on two or three on three? I really miss that for Modern Warfare 3. When they released that map pack in those game modes, I think that was my favorite way to play that from then on. They did kind of mess up the spawns about halfway through that, but I really loved the small team games. It was super intense because they're small maps, uh, but it was really really fun. I, I, I super enjoy that. I hope they bring. I hope they do that again. Um, that was Infinity Ward. I don't know if uh, Treyarch will do that or not, but man, I'd be really excited to hear something along those lines because it it, it changes the game in a really fundamental way, just making it really tightly close-packed maps and smaller teams. So you don't have a six-man team and you're not facing six people. You're only facing three. It's much. I found it much easier to predict traffic that way. I, that might be just because I'm not as good as somebody who plays Ground War all the time. But uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I'd really like to see that make a return. We'll see, though. You know, what are you going to do? Treyarch's not going to listen to me. So not a super great gameplay, 26 and 11, but I did have a good time. We lost, unfortunately. Uh, but I did have a good time playing it, and I'm running around with the B23R, which I'm having a blast with. This and the Cat 40, they're, they're nearly overpowered. I'm not quite positive that they are overpowered, but they are stellar guns. So that's going to do it for this commentary. Uh, in just a moment here, up on the screen, you're going to see a couple of videos you might have missed. On the left-hand side is actually the, my Best Weapon Shootout playlist. I go over all the guns. Uh, I compare guns that are similar right now uh, in round one. In round two, I'll start doing more kind of crazier matchups. And on the right-hand side, nine tips to beat lag compensation. This is as comprehensive a guide I could come up with. Um, every tip I could find to beat lag compensation in Black Ops 2. Check it out. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, like and rate this video. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.